And it's likely you'll find students who are victims of bullying during this National Stop Bullying Month. WWT 6 News is taking the time to give you the information that can help your child if you're in one of these situations. Now, Jenna James joins us now with what we can all do as parents. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. Regardless of if your child is the one being bullied or the bully, you need to listen to them. So often we tell kids what to do in their everyday lives. In this case, you need to take a step back, let the child talk through the problem, and you're there to guide them. Now, I spoke with Dr. Patricia Newman. She's a child psychologist here in Omaha. She gave me these suggestions on what to do. First, she says you need to validate your child's feelings as they're talking to you. Don't put them down or say they shouldn't have felt a certain way during the bullying situation. Then try to get the facts from everyone involved, since sometimes kids might be a little skewed in what they remember. Then talk about different ways the kids could have responded to the situation. And most importantly, practice the solutions that you came up with. Practicing how can you handle it? You know, how do you get out of it? in a way that has the least negative impact for you and everyone around. So we did a lot of role playing and practicing and brainstorming on the best way to handle things. So remember to continue to ask open ended questions. That way your child will be more open with you and continue to talk through this. And then the most important thing is try to get your child to solve the problem on their own with a little bit of guidance from you. So Dave Cerise, sometimes you have to remind them that there simply is no perfect solution, but there might be a way to handle it in the future that's going to lessen the negative impact on everyone around you. Jenna, at what point does an adult need to step in and provide solutions? If it's going on for a very long time, longer than just one or two incidents, mm -hmm. then it's an adult really needs to step in. Or if it's a situation where someone's body or someone's things are being harmed. All right, good advice. Jenna James this morning. Jenna, thank you.